So this right here is one of the interesting games that I played at uh, the Royal Youth Blitz Tournament. Uh, it was the second one. And the reason why this game kind of very much stands out to me is because the spirit of the truth was in it. God showed his power again. Because you'll watch what happens. There's a particular time. Let me uh, speed through these moves real quick. Oh, I should mute this part as well. There's a bishop d6, c4. And queen just played to c2. Okay. Let me see if I could uh, mute this part as well. So there's a moment where I end up uh, hanging my rook, and the crazy thing about it was like, what am I, I was like, what possessed me to hang my rook? It's my alarm going off of my, uh, telling me I'm going to be playing in Title Tuesday soon. Yeah. So, I was really confused the fact that I hung my rook, you know? I have the evaluation here as well. As he goes to bishop g5, uh, bishop f4. It, he played the opening pretty well. And all, but it's not even about that part. It's about still having the will to play even after the dangerous situation. So let's, so let's talk about this opening. All right, so his attack looks really good. And at the time, he gained a lot of space. He's breaking up the the queen side of the board, which I think this is the correct way to break, because afterwards all the pawns will be weak. This pawn will be weak. This one will be weak. Everything will be weak. So he was definitely playing the uh, opening outstandingly well. And I was uh, undecided whether I wanted to. Because I know I wanted to cover this square, and I can't let the knight get in there, so that's why I retreated back as well after he came in. Can't let that powerful knight stay on the square. So the miscalculation happens now because after he took, I can't take back here because he's going to fork here. So I didn't want to lose a pawn, but maybe, maybe it could have worked because the evaluation, well, it says that he's winning. So, alright, so if that's not bad enough, now he's, uh, he's winning, you know, he's up, he's up a pawn, but then to make matters even worse, he then, well, I completely, uh, make a bonehead move here, which I do not know why I thought it was okay to do that, giving him a free rook, completely free. Look at my face. Look at what I'm going through. This moment, I kind of said to myself, well, if God wants me to win, I'm going to win. And I just be like, you know, I, was just, I just said to myself, the Lord has me. So I'm going to just... I'll just be easy. If he wants me to win, I'm going to win. That's what I literally said to myself in the game right there. So, in the meantime, I'm playing queen c7. I'm trying to get some kind of attack going on the queen side. I could probably bring the knight in and get over here as well. I have all those ideas. And he's respecting every one of my ideas. I see that, you know, I could possibly get this G file open, which is always a favorite attack of mine. So if I get the G file open and he takes here, I could probably bring the knight here and I'm also threatening the mate. That's what I'm thinking. 
So I'm thinking all this time. Oh, you know, I'm not gonna let it all be on its own. So G, and then I could probably bring the queen over. You know, I'm thinking all these ideas. So he respects the fact that I'm gonna open the file and moves the king over. Okay. You see a pin coming on pin. And again, same idea. I want to be able to get a knight in to uh, do something over here. And I'm just thinking of ideas. I have a, like a knight check if he decides to bring the rook over. I'm just looking at all these ideas. So I'm looking at this square being well, this square being weak. And knight get into the square hopefully. So he realized the knight's becoming a problem, so he decides to kick me out. Yeah, he's trading, trying to trade off pieces, which is exactly what you need to be doing in this particular situation. He's up a whole rook. Trade off and then, okay. I'm seeing, beginning to see that I might be able to create some ruckus. I'm seeing the idea of the knight coming here and doing a check like that. Or the queen coming over and just trying to set up as much ideas as possible. He's bringing the rook in. And then I'm like, okay, if I could come in here with the queen and I'm threatening mate, and then if he responds to them, then this knight could come in and possibly play a check here. So that's what I, I calculated. And now I'm looking at like, it's gonna be really hard for him to deal with this because if I come in and I play a knight check, He's gonna have to take with a pawn, and then if he takes with a pawn, then I'm gonna play queen check. And after queen check, he blocks with the bishop, and then I'm gonna take, and then it's gonna be a mate. So he plays that, not seeing everything, and I just double check down to make sure. Play the knight check, and look at the relief on my face. wants you to win you're gonna win false hope yeah this also says in the scriptures for me to put this message out there today so just lining everything up <laughs>